He is the middle class boy from Oxford, who's now in the so called Islamic State. Here, his parents have been arrested and charged for trying to send him money and are facing the prospect of jail. Tonight, for the first time, we hear directly from the man dubbed Jihadi Jack. These are his own words. Are you a terrorist? Do you mean by the, the English government's definition? Yeah, any, anyone who opposes non Islamic systems and man made laws, etc. Then, of course, by that definition, I suppose they would say I'm a terrorist. The 20-year-old from Oxford left his family's comfortable home almost two years ago and went to Syria. He says to an Islamic State controlled area. What takes a middle class white kid from Oxford all the way to Syria? It's not a hard question to answer, Yanni, because Allah, he, he guides whom, whom he wishes, Yanni. So once you know Tawheed and you understand Islam properly, whatever you end up because of that, it's not, it's not that hard to explain, Yanni. Alhamdulillah, I came here, like I said, searching for the truth and people of the truth. I don't regret that I came. Are you with ISIS? I'm not, and nor do I agree with a lot of what they follow. I agree with Jihad, and I agree with implementing the Sharia, and I agree with Tawheed and stuff like this, but everyone, any, all the groups that, that exist now that I know of have mistakes. The group that you mentioned, I, mean, I can't say that they represent Islam. You are seen as living in the area that is ruled by terrorists. You're not a fighter. Currently I'm not, any, so, but khalas, they say what they want. He has even gone as far as to criticise the Islamic State in public Facebook posts in Arabic. In one post earlier this month, he said the statement would be his final words if he was killed. I oppose the so-called Islamic State, but that doesn't mean that I am with you, the dirty non-Muslims. So why did Let's decide to go to ISIS-held territory? He insists he only travelled there to study religion. Why would you go all the way to a war zone to study religion? I search for the people of truth. Alhamdulillah, and I found a lot of them here. People who have good knowledge act by what they and what they learn and teach. And I benefited a lot from them, Alhamdulillah. So it's an odd choice, but it's a very, uh, yeah, it was a good choice, Alhamdulillah. Because if I didn't come here, I wouldn't have met some very good, knowledgeable people. But in recent months, the so-called Islamic State has come under sustained bombardment from British, American, French and Russian forces. Let's claims he narrowly survived one attack with just a small scratch. Are you worried about that, that the British or the US will target you in a drone strike? I'm not worried, Alhamdulillah. Everyone's going to die in their day. Whether it's by a drone strike, whether you drown, yani. A Muslim understands that his life is between the hands of Allah Azza You open the paper and there's your son. Jack's parents, John Letts and Sally Lane, spoke to this program earlier this year. They claimed Jack had a history of mental health problems and they feared for his life. My greatest fear is that he won't get out of this alive. Your child's about to fall off a cliff and they're holding you back even though he's crawling forward to the edge and they won't let you help him. They've since been charged under the Terrorism Act and are accused of sending him £1,700 to be used for terrorism. They denied the charges, but recently spent five harrowing days in prison and are now awaiting trial. I call them to Islam mainly. If they understood Islam, they'd understand what they're in and why the, what has happened to them has happened. So inshallah, I hope that they follow the path of all of the prophets. Despite referring to his parents in derogatory terms for not being Muslims, he blames the British legal system. Given the, the absurdity of English law, it's not surprising. You know, it's not a surprising thing. Even before I was Muslim, I knew that English law had no any logical basis and sort of depends on what the judge sees at that time to be right. Do you plan on coming back to the UK? Uh, no, I don't plan on going back to England. Like in, if, my, if my parents are going to get put in prison for sending me a bit of money, then if I came back to England, I don't think I'd be, be very welcome. But I don't plan on coming back anyway. In class, I don't want to come back. Is there anything you miss from the UK? Yeah, and not big things, small things like Babs and Krispy Kreme donuts. But other than that, not really. On the 10th of July, Jack Letts issued another statement on Facebook, this time in English. He said he hated his non-believing parents for the sake of Allah. They reject the religion of truth, so I reject them. He went on, I hate the kuffar and I am free from them. Die in your rage. 
Jack Letts denies he is suffering from OCD or any other type of mental illness and says he wasn't brainwashed or radicalised. Like many of the hundreds of Brits reported to be in Syria, he clearly believes he can't come home. His parents are expected to go on trial next year.